exciting is it that I get to say I am here with Tony nominees, <laughs> Al Morgan and John Andrew, or Jam. Yep. <laughs> or Jam. Okay, so where have you brought me? We're at the Marion Row Hotel and Public House just down the street from uh, the Lyceum Theatre. So a perfect place to come and have a pre-theatre meal before you come and see our big black queer <laughs> American Broadway show. Is that an intro or is that an intro? Let's get into a strange loop. First of all, just congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Congratulations, so the most nominated show of the season. Ah. Are you ever going to be sick and tired of hearing that? <laughs> no, 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 but mm -hmm. at the same time, like it's, it's, we've always known that the piece was good. Um, so to have people actually like acknowledge it publicly and receive it that well, it's like, it's so affirming. In a time when laws are being passed that say don't say gay, mm -hmm. or trans kids can't play sports, or all of these things are happening, just the fact that on the biggest stage of the world, the word queer is on a Broadway marquee, that's huge. It's a statement. And the show has been described as so many different things. One of my favorites is it's like a dazzling, mind-bending adventure. How would you describe A Strange Loop? I would say that it is a story about a fat, black, gay man who is an usher at The Lion King. And yeah. sort of just him, him having to find how he feels and fits into his own skin in a world that sort of constantly oppresses him. But it's funny. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, okay, so, yes, okay, and, 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 and let's also explain who you play, because I was, I was, I was telling someone, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go speak with the stars of Strange Loop, like, who do they play? I'm like, thoughts. Um, so Usher is our, is our protagonist, he's the lead, and we play thoughts in his mind that run amok in his head, and um, the thoughts represent uh, ideas and also people in his life. If you were to have thoughts that you could name, your thoughts on this ride, like how would those run the gamut? Um, supervisor of sleep deprivation, <laughs> um, uh, counselor on worry about fashion, um, fashion appropriateness for events. You can keep going thought. Mm -hmm. um, who would be encouraging you sort of through the, <laughs> the days where it's difficult to do this <laughs> stuff. Um, and then I would, I, would, I would have the let's have fun thought by all yeah, means, yeah. who is just there to wreak havoc and have a whole lot more fun than she probably should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one has a m massive fun right before we go on for Inner White Girl. Um, and it's it's amazing. Tell us about this in a white girl dance that you do. <laughs> it's a whole moment. Like we sort of think about like you sort of the people that are like at Burning Man or these sort of events yeah, where things Coachella are happening. Or, yeah. And it's just this like you lose track of what the body is doing and just start moving in a way that just becomes very yeah. very um, singular. This one has a, a way of getting rid of a robe as well that happens backstage. There's a there's a Broadway costume change that happens. I I do it how you should do it on Broadway. Which is how, which is how. Oh, you have to leap into the air, release it, then spin and throw it, and it to the dress It gets more and more in love every show. There's a whole other show going oh, on. Like, a whole other show. Like, there's a whole, there's a whole other show. Well, I could talk to you both all day, but you do have a show to get to, a matinee to get to, so I will say cheers to an incredible conversation cheers. and congratulations. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. White girls can do anything, can they, can they?